Hi guys! Hi! We have seen this video going around YouTube and have had so much fun watching other people's <laughs> responses to this, so we wanted to jump in and participate. Yes. This is going to be the beauty things that we suck at. And this isn't technically a tag <laughs> video, but it's kind of like once you see a few people do yeah. it, you want to jump in and do it too. And tell you all of our little hidden secrets of the things that we're awful with. Yeah, we suck at a lot. We do. We I just, mean, we have a little list and we do. We suck. We're just going to tell you. <laughs> Jamie has um, kept a list on her phone because otherwise I'm like, oh gosh, I would have a hard time like remembering on the spot. Um, first thing, hair stuff. Yeah, hair. Ugh. Now, what I mean by that is besides basically blow drying it and brushing it. I suck at blow even blow drying. I my suck hair. too because I don't use a round brush. Do you I mean I try, but do you you guys honestly you would so judge me and you would so think differently of me if y'all ever saw me once my hair has been blow dried. I think we should show it one day. You have got do you want <laughs> people to run for their lives? No. Um it's scary. I have a big huge fro. Like my hair is out there. It's just so round and big. <laughs> so anyway, anyway, um yeah, I I suck at blow drying my hair. Yeah. So. I need to round brush it. It, it, it. Round brushing it makes it smoother and less frizzy. Do you think and that's I, something that you just get better at with practice? Or just you either are skilled at it or Everybody out there not? is going, yes it is. And it's, you know, my, you know, someone watching is probably like my five-year-old child could do it. But I think it's hard. I think it's really hard. I get frustrated. What do you do back here? You need a third I can handle arm. this and I can handle this, but I can't do this. Yeah. Um, besides blow drying... Um, currently in the length that my, with the length that my hair is, I can't get this stuff in a bun. I cannot. Mm. Yeah. I can get it in a ponytail. It's a little too short for that. Which is fine. Yeah. But I don't do pretty ponytails. Um, when I do try to get it up in a, in a, and I mean bun, like I can get it up in a bun, but it's not pretty. Um, it's just kind of thrown up. Um, curling it. On occasion, I can use a curling iron and make it look pretty on occasion. Curlers. My mom used curlers all all her life. Them. Like I have a set of curlers. Um, I'll get some of them that look really pretty and then I botch some. <laughs> it's like my husband could do hair better than me and that's really bad. I can't braid. Don't ask me to come and braid your hair or if I'm babysitting your child, don't ask me to braid its hair. It's not happening. I can braid. I can French braid. I, oh, I cannot. I am mm -hmm. totally envious, though, of the people who know how to do, like, the fishtail braids. Oh, gosh. Or, so like, hard. the waterfall braids. I'm like, oh, my gosh, that's so pretty. I, what are you doing with your fingers? I don't understand. Like, I watch YouTube tutorials, yeah. and then I'm all, like, my fingers are, like, and everybody what? in the tutorials are like, um, this is really easy. It's a three-minute fishtail braid. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to totally be able to do this. Yeah. And people are commenting, this was so easy. I was totally able to recreate it. And I'm like, no. I really need someone to sit down and go through the basics of hairstyling. I'm not even good at, like, teasing my hair, like, backcombing it to give my hair, like, some volume. Like, I think yeah. that when people put their hair in a ponytail and it has, like, that little, like, kind of, like, that bump I can't back do it. there. I think that is so adorable. I love it. But I just can't, for the life of me, I mean, pull it off. when I pull my hair in a ponytail, it's, like, straight back. That's it. Awful. <laughs> and... Yeah, anyway. Yeah. I not wear it like that. And I wear it yeah. to work like that. But it doesn't look pretty. Okay. Um, oh. Washing makeup brushes. Oh, yeah. This is a Should kind of a gross it? one. We yeah, don't do it's a little it. disgusting. She did um, it recently. I did it recently, but that was because it had been... I, I can't admit. I can't admit to you guys how long it had been. Um, no. Yeah, I can't either. I'll just mm -hmm. say it's been a while and they need to be washed. But it's not something that I do every three months and I don't do it every six but months. But you know what, too? I think that if I suffered more breakouts, then yes. I would be like, oh, snap. I need to definitely keep my makeup brushes clean. Um, I mean, we wipe them in between. Like, if you're using brown shadow, yeah. you wipe it on a paper towel or I keep a, I keep a towel a, with like me. Like a washcloth. But, yeah. um, yeah. Yeah, no. I don't spot clean. Mmm... They need to be deep. Y'all are judging us right now. I can feel it. Well, here's another thing to judge us on. <laughs> Mascara keeping. Okay. Yeah. The beauty world says, three months and throw it away. Okay. Let me just put this out there. In three months, 
I don't use the same mascara every day for yeah, three months no, in a row. Neither. So I have we have several going yeah. on at a time. All right. Um, I have never to this day had a mascara in three months that I was using turn hard or turn thick or go bad. I hear people all the time say, "Oh, it goes bad." You can tell. Maybe you can. <laughs> I can't tell. Can you tell? Have no, you I mean they dry out. I feel like that you can sometimes notice that they dry out with time, but I think that takes a lot longer than three, three months. months. Um, so I'll throw them away when I realize, oh, mm, I've had this for a year. <laughs> yeah, or like my benefit there real is kind of on its last legs. Yeah, it's how old is it? When did you? Get I think it's a year old. Yeah. Maybe nine months. Maybe nine Maybe months. Maybe nine months old. Um, and I can tell that it's on its way out because it is drying out a little bit. Yeah. But I'm not throwing away a mascara in three months. Okay, if I use the exact same mascara every day for three months, maybe I would say, sure, let's get rid of it. But if you don't have eye infections, I mean, do you have pink eye? You throw your stuff away, unfortunately. Um, but I don't do that. Yeah. I don't buy stuff and throw it out in three months. And maybe that is a huge, huge no-no. I'm not telling you to do it. I just do it. <laughs> what else? <laughs> okay. Oh, my eyebrows. Can I talk about my eyebrows yes. for a second? I hate tweezing my eyebrows. Why am I going to put myself through that? No. Oh. That is the most painful, ridiculous thing. Because it's not just, oh, I've got four little hairs that have come in that I need to tweeze. No, it's like they come in by like the freaking boatloads, shiploads of them, like, pop up on my face all of a sudden. Else. Um, the funny thing about her, though, is how do you see them all the time? Because mine come in dark. You can I see have dark them. lashes, well, eyebrows. I, so I just, I just did mine. Like, I just did but mine But they're so night. light. Like, they're, no, but they're light, but they're annoying. I can feel them. I know they're there. If you get all up in my grill, you are like, ooh, she's got eyebrows. Don't look at mine. She's got brows, brows coming in, like, down mine here. Mine probably aren't plucked either right now. So, what I use, this is one of my dirty little secrets, because I don't think this is probably terribly great for your skin, but I use one of these. They're by the brand LaCrosse. I use one of these brow razor trimmers. It looks like that. It's just a little sharp edge, and they come in like a pack of three. You can get them in like Target or drugstore. Um, I just go in there and use it to shape around my eyebrow. I need I'll to break even, mine out. I take it up in between the middle. I take it along the upper edge. And to, I even get out here like almost close to my temple. I just shave it. Just I mean, and they come back fast. That's the one thing about this. You're not going to like, you're yeah. going to see them come in a lot quicker than like uh, waxing or yeah, tweezing. And I used to go get my eyebrows waxed on the regular but I don't do that I don't anymore. Do that. Ever since I discovered this little tool, that I just do that. Mm -hmm. Do you know what a bummer is for me with my brows? Is about a year ago we went to the Dior counter mm -hmm. at our local mall, and they had their brow wizard in there, mm -hmm. and she whipped up my brows like nobody's business, and they were fabulous. We took photos of our. We took photos, that and day. I still have them. Mm -hmm. And she did a little grooming like up here. And I've let it go, and now I'm scared to go back, even with the photo, to go back and try to do what she did. And I liked yeah. her brows better than my current brows. We need her to come back. Into I have town. full brows. <laughs> I like my full brows, but it needs a little something, something, yeah. whatever she did. And I'm scared to do it by myself. Yeah. Next thing, we never use lip liner. No, never, ever. I think I own one. And I couldn't tell you what purse or makeup bag that it's in probably shoved in the top of my closet somewhere because I never use it. I bought an hourglass nude one and I took it to New York and I wore it the day of I met. I haven't worn it since. Yeah. And I feel like I like I like lipsticks now. I mean I need a lip liner. Yeah. And I need to do that. I mean, girls, when they do their lip liner, they put their lipstick on. It looks beautiful. And I come from a mother who is never without lip liner. I know, that's I mean, true. that woman has her lip liner and her lipstick and, like, something to go over it. And she can put it on with no mirror, and she's been like that for since I've known her. Why <laughs> do I not? Yeah. My entire life. <laughs> Why do I not use lip liner? I don't know. She should have beat that into me. To me, I know a lot of you girls do it. And it's hey, beautiful. more power to you. I think it's awesome. It, but to me, I'm just like, that's an like, additional step that I don't need. Yeah, I probably do need it. Somebody needs to just tell me, no girl, you need lip liner. Because <laughs> then I'll be, I'll be slightly insulted for like a half of a second. <laughs> 
But then I'll be like, well, dang, I need, I need to, to lip liners. I need to buy lip liners now. <laughs> okay. What else? Top one. Oh, falsies. Mm. Falsies. Again. I even hold them and I haven't used them. Again, you ladies do it and you make it look so easy. It is not easy. It's hard. It we, is hard. We did a beauty battle. I don't know. When was that? Was it last fall? Yeah, they weren't really good ones though. No, they were just cheapos. But it was like a, we called it like a false impressions type thing and like us trying to put them on. It was a stick on one, not the kind with the glue. Yeah, we, it was awful. we were a hot mess. But, um, we're I... We're gonna try them soon. I wanna buy some. I bought them. I don't use them. I look at people with them on and I'm like, I like stare. They're gorgeous. And I'm like, that is stunning. I want to do that. Why have... Ha Why didn't I wear them to IMATS? I, I don't know. Every, Why didn't we wear them to IMATS? Everyone in IMATS had false lashes on or got false lashes done while they were there. And we're all like... Da, 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 da. I'm all like, look at my baby lashes. Look at my baby <laughs> lashes. <sighs> we're still in kindergarten when it comes to some things. We'll get there. We need to grow up. Become adults. <laughs> Um, self-tanner. Yes. Let's talk about self-tanner. Probably we should be self-tanning all year long. Yeah. Maybe a lighter color in the winter. Yeah. A little darker in the summer. Do you self-tan in the winter? No. No, I, we go Who's paley. Seen? Who is seeing my skin? Nobody is seeing my skin. <laughs> my husband is seeing my skin. That's we it. Don't do he it. doesn't count. And we should because it is nice to have color. You feel better about yourself when you have a little bit of color. And yeah. in the winter, you don't need a lot, but just a little something yeah. so that you don't scare yourself when you look at your body. Mm -hmm. um, and then right now... I should be self-tanning, I don't know, once or twice a week. Yeah. I don't, in my mind, when I self-tan, I have to self-tan my entire body. There's no just, oh, my legs and arms and chest are showing. I can do this. So that means that I have to have help to do my back and my shoulders. So I asked my husband. So it's like this big production. And he's all like, I don't, don't want to have time. And I'm like, but you have to. So that means I don't self-tan like I should. I should be yeah. self-tanning right now. This is I have tan? started, yeah, but you have more, you have a darker skin tone naturally, and you have a little bit more of like an, I'm dark you're skin. a little, yeah, she's totally dark, um, but I, on the other hand, am like translucent, I'm so pale, <laughs> so I have to start um, tanning, like as soon as the summer, or the, the weather gets warm enough that I'm wearing open toed shoes, y'all do not want to see the tops mm. of my feet when they look like a sheet of paper, y'all do <laughs> You can see my blue veins. It's gross. So I um, I have already started self-tanning. But the thing that I have to say that I can manage to get okay application. Obviously, I need help with um, my back, and I get Chris to do that. But the only place that I struggle is, like, around my wrist. Like, I think I even do a halfway decent job of washing my palms of my hands and, like, in between my fingers and stuff to the point where, like, I don't have orange stains. Do you or... use a mitt? No, I, I don't use, use a, mitt. a mitt. No, I don't use a mitt. Um, I don't think with the St. Tropez that I use, I don't think they, they recommend a mitt. Oh, okay. Um, but I feel like I do have a little bit of problems sometimes, like, along this edge of my hand and on the inner corners of my wrist. Like, sometimes I realize that I have sharp lines there, and I'm like, oops. And then I'm, like, trying to hide trying to hide them all day. I'm like this. Because I'm over there making fun. I'm just yeah, kidding. She I, is. I'm just kidding. But, um, yeah. Self tanner. Um, Okay sunscreen mm -hmm. but sunscreen on your hands yeah do you i don't worry that? about that i do i, I do because your hands can show age can i show you my yeah, aging hands you, you want to see that do you see that that's an aging hand you want to know why you think about it and i don't because if i had a sunspot pop up i wouldn't oh. know that i do i don't know like age spots and stuff for a redhead who has freckles oh. how, how would I ever it would have to be something really noticeable for me to be like oh that's the benefits of having freckles mm. because I can there tell I mean I just showed you guys like that is like a sunspot or dare I say age spot whatever <laughs> um but I need to start sunscreen in my hands I forget I don't know why it's for crazy like, and you're driving you drive like this so now. I need to start thinking about that yeah, and I only... I can't believe I just showed you my, my son's fun. It's okay. I'm going to have something done to him eventually. I don't even care. <laughs> um, and mm -hmm. I try to use a sunscreen every day on my face of some sort, whether it's in my primer or yeah. my tinted moisturizer or yeah. 
if it, you know, yeah, I try to ever always think about that, especially if I know I'm going to be yeah, me too. out a lot. It's very, very important, mm -hmm. and young people should know that. Yes. Um, do you pick at your cuticles? Picking at cuticles, yeah. Now, I do Gross. recommend that you get a cuticle clipper, and I like the angled ones. I should have brought them and in. And not there. these. No, not your teeth, but um, but if I get like a little hangnail on the side of my nail, like, and I, I try to immediately grab my clippers and clip them. Sometimes though, I'll just, I'll just go in for the kill, um, and then my fingers end up so sore and I regret it. Can I show? Can I be honest and show y'all something? Show, show them. It's yucky. That's okay. Go for it. See that? See that right there on my cuticle? Can you see? I it? did that. Mm -hmm. I can't I see do it that right there. Oh, that's See nothing. That? But that's on my hands, and that's what I do. And I'll pick them like this, and don't even get me started. I yeah. do that. Oh, God. I yeah. do it. I can't stop. That, I used to be a nail biter when I was younger, and I stopped that in, like, high school. Because I was, like, all of a sudden, I was like, I want nails. I'm painting my nails. Stop. I immediately stopped. And I only bit my nails when I was nervous about a test or game coming up or something like that. I do not bite my nails anymore, but I bite the sides of them. Grody. And I've never been a nail biter, but I pop my my fingernails. And that is so, so bad. I always tell her not she, to do that. I think Jamie is so disgusted by me. I don't like I things do popping, and my husband does it too. Um, <sighs> but it's something out. that I started doing as a teenager. I don't know. And it's something now that I feel like I have to do because otherwise I feel like my fingers and my hands ache. And the second that I'll pop them, I'm not going to do it because I know it really freaks some people out. As soon as I pop them, it immediately gives me relief and it feels so much better. And it's something that I just can't quit. I don't pop I'm, anything but tags. I'm going to have horrible arthritis. Pop and tags. <laughs> I'm going to pop. Yeah. <laughs> don't say arthritis. I think I'm going to have arthritis know, in my hands. I'm going to have really bad hands. Do, your, do your parents my knuckles, have arthritis in their hands? See, my, my mom does. My dad does. does. I don't think my mom does, oh, but God. I think my dad does. My knuckles are already bigger than I want them to be. They are huge. I'm just kidding. They're not. They're normal They're size. They're normal size. Um, and the last thing, uh, we don't paint our toenails. Well, some winters we do, but this past winter, I had to admit to her, I was like, look, why was I showing you my foot one day at work? Remember I said I want to show you something, but my toes weren't painted? I don't remember telling. why I was showing her my foot. <laughs> but, um, and she was like, no, nah, mine aren't painted, and they haven't been. And I yeah. was like, good, because no, mine haven't been for months. Unless I'm going somewhere tropical during the winter, I'm not going to paint my toenails. Like, I really take those months of the oh. winter as, like, an opportunity for my toenails to breathe. We discuss when we clip our toenails. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, they're painted right now, of course. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we just didn't do that this winter and mm -hmm. I just didn't feel like I wanted to take the time. I would rather paint my nails than paint my toenails. I know. It's a lot to keep up with y'all. Like, it is. Y'all, you, you know what Being we're talking women, about. Being it's hard sometimes. The things that we do for the name of beauty. We do a lot. It is. Our husbands need to appreciate that. They better. Mm-hmm. Or we're going to tell them every day that they should. <laughs> we're going to start a movement to be like, husbands need to be thankful. <laughs> Us ladies go through so much. Because let me tell you, when I wake up in the morning, it could be scary sometimes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So cool. This was fun. This we was fun. Tell us all your dirty secrets. Now you know how dirty we are with our dirty mascara. And, <laughs> and our dirty makeup brushes. Dirty makeup brushes. And our dirty girl. <laughs> our nasty winter toenails. <laughs> Oh God! So please make us feel better. Drop us a comment and let us know what your nasty little truths yeah. are. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. As always, we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.